Hey gang. So we're going to be doing some science today. What we're going to be talking about is transferred heat energy. I've got a demonstration for you that's going to involve different temperatures of water. What we're going to try to notice is the way that the temperature of water affects the molecules of another substance that I'm going to drop in there that you're going to get to see. Um, think about the winter time. When it's cold outside, the temperature drops and everything kind of slows down, doesn't it? Animals hibernate, uh, trees and plants go uh, into hibernation as well, right? Their uh, photosynthesis slows down, doesn't it? But in the summertime, when everything warms up, the plants are green, the, the animals are out and about, aren't they? Everything's a little bit faster when it's warm outside. Keep that in mind as you're watching. So now we're getting started with all of our setup, gathering our materials that we'll need. We are going to need 48 ounces of water divided equally into three clear containers. So about 16 ounces of water in each one of your clear containers. You will also need some food coloring. You don't have to use three different colors. I just like the colors. It was easy for us to tell the difference between the three temperatures that we'll be working with. You'll need some masking tape and some markers to label each one of your jars. So now we're going to go ahead and label those jars. Uh, beforehand, I did a little bit more preparation. I had my hot water kettle on the stove, heating some water to boiling. I also had a glass of water sitting out on the counter for a couple of hours coming up to room temperature and I had a glass of water in the freezer uh, getting very very cold not frozen just really cold so that it would uh, show what we wanted it to show in our experiment today. I also want to remind you to always put your caps back on your markers and don't let them get dried out. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the cold water first. And like I said, this water is not frozen. I didn't add any ice cubes to it or anything, but it has been sitting in the freezer for quite a while. So it's not quite frozen. Uh, freezing temperature is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. This was probably about 45 to 50 degrees. So very cold, very refreshing if you were to drink it. And now we are going to add one or two drops of blue food coloring to the cold water. And we are going to observe how that food coloring interacts with the water. Because we know that the temperature is very cold, so the heat transfer is very, very slow. And you can see that illustrated in the way that the food coloring is moving inside that cold water. Next, we will move on to our room temperature water. Uh, like I said, this has been sitting out on the counter for several hours, so it's about 72 degrees. Um, and again, we're going to add some green food coloring to this particular temperature of water and observe how the molecules interact with one another. Now I can already see that it's moving uh, considerably faster than the blue food coloring did in that cold water. So I know that the heat transfer is happening a lot faster than it did with the blue food coloring in the cold water. Next, we will move on to our hot water, and this is boiling, so it's about 212 degrees. So remember, you need help from an adult for this part for sure. Uh, and you can see how hot it is. The steam's coming up out of that water already. So it did just come off the stove and it was boiling just a moment ago at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So now we will go ahead and add one or two drops of that red food coloring. And immediately we see it's moving very, very quickly. We're not seeing any streaking like we did with the green and the blue food coloring and the other temperatures. And it's mixing very, very quickly. It's moving very fast. Those molecules are just jumping all around because the heat transfer is happening so quickly. Now let's take a closer look at each one of these jars. We look inside that blue jar, we can still see some streaking. We know that, that uh, molecules are moving very slowly. We see a little bit of streaking here in the room temperature water. And if we look at our hot water, it's completely mixed together. There's no streaking. It looks totally done. So, what did you think? 
Were you really able to see how that red food coloring was much faster in the hot water? How its molecules mixed a lot quicker with that hot water than when we dropped the blue food coloring into the cold water that had just come out of the freezer? It didn't even get fully mixed, did it? So the molecules are much slower when it's cold. Those molecules slow down when their temperature drops. When the heat transfer goes up and more energy is transferred from the hotter temperatures into those molecules, they move a whole lot faster, don't they? I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a lot. I cannot wait to see your responses on Seesaw.